Gloria Hallett carries her life on her back. It's heavy. It's a big burden to carry around everything. Hiding everything she owns in bushes and under bridges. Stash my stuff, and yes, it's gotten stolen. Hardly providing a sense of security. When they get stolen, it's not that I'm so angry that somebody stole them. I'm angry because I'm without the things that I need to survive. Outside the Fort Collins Mennonite Fellowship, people will be able to store their things in, know that they're secure. Lockers sit vacant. The people they were installed for, not allowed to use them. The homeless say, what we need is a place that we can securely store our things. Backlash from neighbors when the lockers were installed led Fort Collins City Council to impose stricter regulations for how and when the lockers could be used. So strict, the church couldn't comply. The city council's decision shut down that locker program last fall. The American Civil Liberties Union now says they've reached an agreement with the city to allow the church to run the locker program again. It's not final until the city council approves it. It takes a lot when you don't have anything to get the basic necessities of life. For Gloria, she hopes tonight's decision unlocks a new sense of security. It's important for me and other people too to have a safe place to put safe papers. And we reached out to every member of the Fort Collins City Council as well as the mayor. Those who responded declined to comment, citing an ongoing legal issue. In Fort Collins, I'm Mark Salinger, 9 News.